to the Real Estate Scripts Podcast, the show that helps you know what to say when you're talking to buyers and sellers so that you can close more deals and earn more money. I'm Darren Tunstall, a real estate professional, coach, and number one best-selling author. Let's get into this. Before we begin today's episode, I want to clarify some important points. I am a licensed real estate agent and my DRE number is 01853445. It's crucial to note that this podcast operates independently of my affiliation with Keller Williams Realty and any realtor associations. My primary goal with this podcast is to provide you, our listeners, with valuable information, insights, and practical tools. As a reminder, the purpose of scripts and dialogues is to come, learn, practice, and be prepared to fail forward. This is where we make mistakes and help each other out, but we're mostly interested in seeing how we can get better. First, we read through the script word for word, and then we go back and put it into our own natural tone, style, and phrasing. You won't know what to say until you go through the script. So with that said, many people will say, that's not how I sound, and I totally get it. That's not how you sound. But that is the reason why we practice every day so that the script becomes you and in your own voice. So read it word for word first, then go back and put it into your own natural tone, style, and phrasing, and I think it'll work out. This whole week is lead generation. Specifically, we're focusing on social media and internet leads. Um, Every day is something different, whether it's uh, receiving a call from somebody visiting your website or they filled out a form, or you saw some recent activity on your website. Maybe you're doing some advertising. Um, you know, maybe you put out a blog post or just consistent marketing, uh, and somebody messaged you. So throughout the week, we're doing those types of internet leads this week, and we have not done these in the past. So I'm pretty excited about this because social media internet leads is definitely something that uh, takes place quite often. In fact, that's where I, when I first got into real estate, that's how I did a lot of deals back then. Back in 08, 09, um, I did a lot of internet lead generation um, and uh, I documented everything. I put it into my book that became a number one bestseller. It's called Sold, A Proven Social Media Strategy for Generating Real Estate Leads. Um, the tools and techniques and things like that that I work that I used then either don't exist or don't work like that anymore. So uh, I just want to put that out there. Don't rush out to buy the book. If you really want it, I'll give it to you. Okay. So, <laughs> um, but I want to make it a point that the tools and things like that are quite different nowadays. Um, in fact, they're even more simple. So um, um, anyways, just want to make sure that we, Uh, tackle those together. So this particular script is called Unveiling Your Dream Home. And in this scenario, you receive an inquiry from a lead who saw a property on, for example, Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, Realtor, you know, could be your own personal website, things like that. The lead is interested in a property they saw online. You engage them by acknowledging their interest in highlighting the property's values. You then offer to schedule a virtual tour, focusing on their preferred areas of the home. And it doesn't have to be virtual. It could be in person too. So this is the one common thing that I always got when I was doing a lot of social media marketing. People were constantly calling me saying, I saw this property, you know, tell me more about it. And then I would tell them about it and then we would go out and see the property. So this was the number one thing for me. It might be different these days for you. Requirements are knowledge of the property's features, ability to schedule a tour or a virtual tour, understanding of the lead's preferences and effective communication skills. The intention is to engage the lead who inquired about property on Zillow, Redfin, online, internet leads, uh, you know, social media, provide them with personalized information about the property and schedule a tour to further their interest in the home. So you can replace virtual with just tour if you want. Um, But that's the script for today. Who's ready to go out and practice this? All of us, right? All right. So just before we do get started, is there anybody who is doing a lot of social media, internet marketing right now? Hello, please leave a message after the tone. 
I guess he is. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll break out. We'll stay here with Kelly, Emily, and Yuri. And we'll go ahead and go around the horn on this. Um, so let's have uh, Emily be the agent. Kelly, you'll be the person calling in. Yuri, you're going to be listening in for now. And then we'll trade places as we go around the horn. So Emily, you're going to receive a call from Kelly. Mm -hmm. So Kelly, you're going to call in and start talking to Emily. Okay. Or? No. No, you're calling. Oh, you filled I'm out calling a form. her. You filled out a form. I'm sorry. Yeah. You filled out a form and she's going to call you back now. Okay. Okay. So when you're ready, Emily. Okay. Hi, this is Emily with Keller Williams Realty. I noticed you had inquired about the property on Zillow at 33 Main Street. It's a beautiful home with lots of natural light and a spacious backyard. May I ask what caught your eye about this property? Um, I think the curve for people. Oh, sorry. Um, so just tell her whatever I think. Yeah, you can tell her what you think. Okay, well, I like the floor plans, and the backyard was just perfect for our kids. Wonderful. That's great to hear. It's really a fantastic home. Have you had a chance to drive by the property yet, or would you like to schedule a tour or virtual tour to see it up close? Um, I have not seen it. I would love to get a virtual tour. Wonderful. Yeah. I'll arrange a virtual tour for you. Additionally, are there any specific features or details you'd like me to focus on during the tour? Perhaps the kitchen, maybe the garage? Absolutely. Um, I would be interested in it to see if there's, there's a pantry, uh, what direction the house is facing, and how big is the master bathroom. Okay. Awesome. Absolutely. I'll make sure to highlight those areas for you. How does tomorrow at three o'clock sound for the virtual tour? Um, how about six o'clock? Okay, it might be a little bit darker in the home because that is getting closer to sunset. Um, but we'll make it work. I'll bring some extra lighting with me so I can highlight the details of the home. I'll send you a calendar invite with all the details. In the meantime, if you have any questions or need more information about the property, feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to help you find your dream home. And, you know, I would love if if uh, in the near future, after we do the virtual tour, maybe we could go see the home in person. How does that sound? Sounds good. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to help you on this journey and we'll talk tomorrow at six o'clock for the virtual tour. Have a great day. Okay. Thank you. Good. That was awesome. All right. And typically that's really how they kind of go. I mean, it's, it's either, no, I didn't fill out anything or they're all excited about seeing something. Uh -huh. So that's how internet leads go. A lot of times they'll tell you, yeah, I didn't fill out a form. <laughs> so we'll have to deal with that. Um, all right. So Kelly, let's have you be the agent. And Yuri, you're going to uh, be the person that had filled out the form and you're inquiring it about a property. So Kelly's going to call you back uh, because uh, you inquired. So then blow it up because I don't have my glasses with me. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, hello, this is Kelly with um, Keller Williams. I noticed you inquire about the property on Zillow. It's a beautiful full home with lots of natural lights and a spacious backyard. What caught your eye on this property? Um, excuse me, just a question. I don't see the script. Or is uh, it? It's oh. on week 18. <clears throat> we're, we're on week 18 of the website on Tuesday. And you'll click on the button that says click here. So are you logged into realestatescriptspractice.com? Yes. Okay. Week 18. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and Darren, with everything that's going on, this won't work. Tell me why. Well, before we show any properties, don't we need a um, buyer BRBC signed? So I know the what you're talking about and... 
That's a really good question. And I think it's a question that should really be answered by your broker. It's being recommended that we have that um, in place. And I would certainly ask your broker first, but here's the thing. You could also meet a client at a property and have them sign one right then and there. Um, there are agreements where you can do it like on a one-time basis, right? Or there's agreements that once you've decided to work together on a long-term, then you can, you know, uh, get that signed and put it in place. So for the purpose of people calling in, you really want to develop, you know, develop that rapport. They're obviously filling out the form uh, because they're interested in the property. And the goal here is to really call them, establish relationship or contact, start to build that rapport, and then ultimately put them under contract to work with you. Okay, I'm ready. Is this Emily or? You're talking to Kelly. Kelly. So Kelly, okay. let's, let's restart the conversation. Okay. Hello, um, this is Kelly with uh, Keller Williams. Thank you for your inquiry. I noticed that you inquire about the property on Zillow. Uh, it's a beautiful home with lots of natural light and and a spacious backyard. What caught your eyes about the property? Hi, Kelly. Um, you know, I love the floor plan and I thought the backyard was, it's perfect enough for my two kids. Isn't it great? It's a good sized backyard, right? Definitely. Absolutely. That's great to hear. Uh, I really, it really is a fantastic home. Have you had a chance to, to drive by the property yet? Or would you like to schedule a virtual tour to see I, it up close? Actually, I haven't had the opportunity to see the property. And I would love to see a virtual tour. That sounds great. Wonderful. I'll arrange a tour for you additionally. Are you are there any specific features or details you would like me to focus on during the tour? Yes, I've always wanted a huge kitchen with lots of cabinet and a fantastic pantry. Yes, okay, absolutely. I'll make sure to highlight those areas for you. Um, how does tomorrow at 3 p.m. sounds for you for the virtual tour? Tomorrow at 3 p.m.? Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Perfect. I'll send you a calendar invite with all the details. In the meantime, if you have any questions or need more information about the property, feel free to reach out. We're here to help you find your dream home. Kelly, thanks. And I appreciate the, the tour, um, your help. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to, to see the property. I am too. And you're welcome. We're excited to help you on this journey. We'll talk tomorrow at 3 p.m. for the virtual tour. Okay. Have a wonderful day or a great day. Thanks. You too. Thank Bye. you. Nice. Good job. <clears throat> All right, Yuri, are you ready to talk to Emily? Uh, yes. Perfect. You're the agent. Emily filled out a form and she and you're calling her back. Okay. Hello, Emily. This is Judy with Keller Williams Real Kel Williams Realty. I noticed you inquiry about the property on Redfin. Let me tell you, it's a beautiful home with lots of natural light and spacious backyard. What caught your eye about this property? I Emily. love the floor plan and thought the backyard was perfect for my kids. That's great to hear. I it really is a fantastic home. Have you had the chance to drive by the property yet? Or would you like to schedule a virtual tour to see if it up close? To see it up close? Um, yeah, I have not seen the property. I haven't driven by. Um, a virtual tour sounds good. Great. I'll arrange a virtual tour for you. Additionally, are there any specific features or details you'd like me to focus on during the tour? Yuri, I really want to see the kitchen 
and probably the master bedroom because I kind of want to see how big it is. I have a lot of furniture. Absolutely. I'll make sure to highlight those areas for you, um, em Kelly. Emily. Oh. <laughs> Emily, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Where am I? Um, You're at absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. I'll make sure to highlight those areas for you. How does tomorrow at 3 p.m. sounds for the beer tour? That sounds perfect. Perfect. I would send you a calendar invite with all the details. In the meantime, if you have any questions or need information about the property, please feel free to reach out. We're here to help you find your dream home. Thank you. I'm so excited. This looks like the perfect home. You're so welcome. We're excited to help you on this journey. Well, we'll talk tomorrow at 3 p.m. for the virtual tool. And meanwhile, have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Awesome. Good job. Okay, let's do it again in our own words, <laughs> right? Brief conversation, maybe about a minute and a half each. I know it's not a lot of time, but we're up against the time. So, Emily, when you're ready, talk to Kelly. Okay. I'm I'm the agent, right? Okay. Hi, this is Emily with Keller Williams Realty. I noticed that you were looking at a home on my website at 33 Main Street. What caught your eye about this property? Oh, hi, Emily. Yeah, the home is beautiful. I love everything about it. Awesome. That's great to hear. It's really a beautiful home. Have you had a chance to drive by the property yet? Or would you like me to schedule a showing? Um, yes, I, I drove by and uh, the curve appeal is amazing. So I would love to see the inside of it. Wonderful. I have tomorrow open. I'm going to be in that area. Are you available sometime probably about three o'clock maybe? Yeah, that, that times would work. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I'm going to send you a calendar invite. I have your email at kellylu at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Is that the best email for you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect, Kelly. I'm going to send you over an invite, a little bit about me, and just some things we need to go over before we tour the home. Okay? Okay. And I'll meet you there at three o'clock. Wonderful. I'll I see look you forward then. to helping you on this journey. Great. Thank you. Right on the dot. Look at that. I have a timer going. I guess so. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, Kelly, when you're ready, uh, we'll, I gave I gave uh, Emily about 10 seconds head start, so I'll give you an extra 10 seconds. Okay. All right? So when you're ready, go. Who am I talking to, Emily or Yuri? Let's go backwards. Let's have you talk to Emily, and then Emily will talk to, or we'll have Yuri talk to Kelly. So you you talk to Emily. Okay. Hello, this is Kelly with uh, Kelly Williams. I noticed you inquire about the property that I um, that is listed on Zillow. It's a beautiful home with lots of natural light and spacious backyard. What caught your eye on this property, Emily? The backyard and the kitchen. The pictures are good. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. Yes. Uh, what brought you to look at this home? Well, I've been just shopping around, and if, if you're talking about the one in La Mesa, I think that's the perfect home for me. I've been looking for a long time, and that one checks all the boxes. You know, good home don't often go on the market often, so um, that's really good to hear. It really is a, a great home. Have you had a chance to drive by the property, or would you like to schedule a virtual tour to see it up close? Sure, that sounds fine. A virtual tour works for me, but I'd like to see it in person as well. Okay, wonderful. I'll tell you what, I'll arrange a tour for you. Um, in, addition, in, in addition, are there any specific features, details that you'd like to focus on on the tour besides the kitchen and a nice yard? No, just want to see everything. Wonderful. Well, I'll tell you what, I have like three o'clock tomorrow. Would that sound okay with you? To you know what? That, that sounds good. So okay. we're doing a virtual tour? Well, I'm going to try my absolute best to schedule the appointment to see you, uh, to get you to, in to see the in person. Oh, that would be great. Now, Emily, um, 
you know, before I can take you into the home, there is an agency agreement, it's just a liability. Um, if I can send that over to you, sign it quickly and return it. And then we'll set it all up and I'll see you at the house tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. Okay. I have your address as Emily Zimmerman at um, gmail.com. Is that correct? That's me. Wonderful. So I'll go ahead and send it right now over to you. Please sign it. And then Emily, I'll see you at the house at 3 p.m. Thanks, Kelly. You're welcome. Look forward to meeting you. Look forward to meeting you. Okay. Very good. Nice. And I like the way that you just said that. In fact, I do have something to share, but I'm going to bring the group back to share that whole thing. Yuri, you want to go one more time? You think you can squeeze it in one minute? Um, sure. <clears throat> talk talk <throat> to Emily. Emily, let's help the situation. Oh, yep. <laughs> All right, Yuri, when you're ready. So I'm the agent, correct? Yes. Right. Okay. Hello, this is Judy with Keller Williams um, Realty. I noticed you inquire about a property on Silo. Um, it's a beautiful home with lots of natural lights and enormous backyard. What uh, caught your attention about this property? Oh, that yard. I, I was wondering if you could um, sh give me a showing of the house tomorrow. That's wonderful. Um, it's a fantastic home. Um, have you had a chance to drive by the property or would you like to schedule? I did drive by. Yeah, I want to see the inside. Great. Um, how about a virtual tour or uh, in person? Um, in person. I want to see the inside. Great. <laughs> in person. Then definitely. Uh, what features are you specific um, interested in on? The whole house. I want to see the whole house because it looks like the perfect house. Definitely. I'll make sure to highlight all the areas you're interested on. Um, what about we schedule an, an in-person um, tour? How about for 3 p.m.? Would that work for you? That works perfect. Perfect. I'll send you a calendar invitation. Okay. Meanwhile, um, if you need any information about the property, please uh, feel free to reach out to me. And I'm here to help you find the, the house of your dreams. Thank you. Sounds good. I'll see you tomorrow. You're welcome. I'm so excited to help you in, in this. Um, we'll talk tomorrow. And before we um, meet up, I'll send you an um, email to, to meet up at 3 p.m. Perfect. Sounds All good. Right. Thank you, Yuri. All right. Great. Good job. Good job. Just a quick note um, for everyone that when you have a motivated person who's so eager to get out there, you know, that's an appointment, you know, schedule the appointment, get out there and meet and meet them. Um, but I do want to address something that came up. Um, it was a question, basically, are we allowed to go out and do this? You know, when people come in and, uh, you know, it's kind of like the whole open house thing about uh, what's going on with the whole lawsuit situation. And I'm not getting into details of the lawsuit, but I do want to read one thing because if you're going to go and show someone, now you're meeting them, right? So the question is, is do I have to have them under contract? Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that I can tell you is this, is number one, you should definitely talk to your brokerage, right? So that's, that's, that's a big deal right there. Talk to your brokerage um, or your broker, I'm sorry. Um, but I do want to put re show you this. This I'm sharing my screen. It's put out by uh, California Association of Realtors. And the title of this particular document is NAR Proposed Class Action Lawsuit Settlement. And at the very bottom, copyright 2024. Okay. So it does say this. Can an agent show a property to a buyer who shows up at an open house without an agent? Um, and this can be... Uh, very much re uh, relating to going and showing a property uh, for someone who's inquiring. <clears throat> it specifically says an agent showing property or giving a tour to a buyer must have a written representation agreement. <clears throat> an agent holding an open house must either have a buyer sign a, such an agreement or a document that buyers desire to be unrepresented. The BRBC can be used CAR, California Association of Realtors, is creating a new form to be used at open houses 
and the form will be released by car before the settlement implementation uh, implementation date. So it hasn't really um, gone through, but I just want to point that out that that they're saying yes, somebody either has to be documented as unrepresented or you're going to uh, put them under contract. And there is a, uh, you can do like a one day contract or you can do a long-term once you've established that rapport. But for showing your property, that's what that document is saying. My suggestion is go back to your broker and discuss it with them and how they want to do it. So in order to show up to an open house, a client has to have their BRBC with them in hand to say, this is my agent. I'm coming in to see the house. Pretty much there. Yeah. In that case, if they're saying that they have an agent already representing them, then there has to be proof of that. And they're going to have to, and, and, and vice versa. So if you have a buyer, by the way, and they're mm -hmm. going out and looking at open houses, now the conversation has to be had to prepare your buyer with that. Like if you're going to go out and open houses, this is the new rule. So take this with you and you'll be covered. Okay. And when we receive that, I mean, it's, I get it. It's, it's changing. Um, let's look at the change <laughs> in a positive way and how this is going to be, make everything better. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's right. positive in the fact that when people say they're represented, they are, or they're not. Because mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. they say they are and they're not. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so what are we supposed to do? Somebody comes to an open house and says, I'm not going to sign your form. You just stand there and block the door and say you can't see yeah, that. Correct. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a good point. Um, uh, before we an before I answer that, you I want to just- invited them in. But before I answer that, I want to acknowledge the fact that it is nine o'clock, but I'm going to answer that question because I'm here till 9.15. Um, I remember there was a scenario where- uh, we had an open house and there was a man who claimed to be an investor who was very, very quick. He was rushing up to the door, opening the door, rushing through, like there was a living area first. And then he met with the kitchen where the sign in sheet was. And he was like, you know, we were saying, Hey, welcome to the open house. He just had nothing to do with us. And specifically we asked him, Hey, you know, the owner's request that we have you sign in, um, before going through the property, you know, that's a very valid, um, request. And he says, no, no, I'm not going to do that. I just want to see the property. I'm an investor. I want to see if this is right for me. And so, well, sorry, this is what the owners are requesting you to do. And he's like, I don't want to do it. I said, well, then you can't see the property. You're going to have to leave, you know, because we are there representing not only just the agent, but we're also protecting somebody else's asset. We're, we're opening their home to the public. And if somebody wants to come in and just mistreat it and not follow the rules and be disrespectful in someone else's house, then I feel like it's my fiduciary responsibility to make sure that I'm going to do what the agent and the homeowner request. So leave. And it's okay to tell people to leave. I mean, we can do it in a nice way. He was just being a real jerk about it. But we wouldn't let him see the property. He left. Well, I have done that in the past, but I'm somewhat more able to tell people to get lost than the average agent because, yeah. well, and now I'm older, not so much. But It's, it's not but, a fun scenario to be in, for sure. Um. I would love to hear everyone, you know, whoever, if you've ever had to do that, or if you ran into that situation, how you would handle that, because it does happen more often than not. Sounds like an objection script in the works. Are you putting me to work? Are you asking me to write one? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I never understood was why in that scenario, you could just say, my name is Pete Miller. My email is PeteMiller at gmail.com and go see it. Well, that's a great point. How many people have actually gone back to their sign-in sheets only to find out that the name and number is wrong? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And BTW, by the way, protect your sign-in sheets. There was also a scenario where other agents... I hate to say this, we're going in and taking pictures of the sign-in sheets. No way. Yep. 
Isn't that horrible? <laughs> yep. Yes, they were. They were. Um, I have one question for you about the script, and then I got to go. Are we, you're not, uh, actually, if I put it that way, it answers the question the way I want it. You're talking about virtual tour. This is left over from COVID, right? You're not talking about today, are you? I am talking about today, but remember before we broke out, I said interchange that word with tour. You know, you have to really develop that rapport. There's there's a lot of people who are very comfortable with buying homes through virtual tour. I bought two homes, two investment properties that I own, never seen them, never been there, only did a virtual tour. That's weird. Um <laughs> Yeah. Congratulations. Is it your birthday? I have no idea what that <laughs> happened. It just got balloons that just went up my screen. Um no, no. So 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 for everyone listening, um, yes, interchange that word with tour, virtual tour, whatever they want to do. If they're comfortable with going and seeing the property, then go and see them in property. I would prefer that actually, because you meet that person in person. Um, mm -hmm. but at the same time, if that's not going to be a, be an option for them, then offer us virtual tour. We're in a world where we can go on FaceTime, walk through the property. We can shoot a quick YouTube video, walk through it. Like the way that I bought my investment properties, my real estate agent um, did two YouTube videos for me on two different properties. And he just walked the properties, uploaded it to an unlisted um, uh, YouTube video. And then I watched them. And then we did a FaceTime together later on. Uh, when I discovered the ones that I liked. So um, it does happen. Um, and especially if you're doing long distance type things as well. Um, uh, and, you know, you got people moving from one state to the other state that can't be there. So virtual tour is definitely an option. Uh, otherwise, if you're local and they're there, try to get them in the house and put them under that agreement. All right. Thanks, Darren. I... Thank you so much. All right. All right. Thanks. See you. Thank you, Jim. Uh, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Yuri. Appreciate you all being here. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right. So that's the script. I hope that you found it useful. Just head over to realestatescriptspractice.com for more resources and downloads. This podcast is for the purpose of education only, and it does not make any guarantees. We suggest you seek out the help of your broker, coach, mentor, CPA, or attorney. Brought to you by Darren Tunstall, California DRE number 0185345.